Hi Pisces, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate each and every one of you. Trust me. Um, you know, thank you for supporting my channel, guys. I, I really appreciate the likes, the comments. Um, you know, most importantly, I really love for these messages to go through to the collectives that really, really need to hear it. Okay. Um, so I just want to just thank you. Um, today I'm going to do your Q&A, Pisces, okay? Um, that is a specific love read that I do while you wait for your general tarot card read. I'm pretty sure I just did yours. I'm like 90% sure. Um, I just did your general tarot card read. But these are just shorter videos catered to love. Okay? Okay. One more thing. Um... Right now, I'm doing a free one reading question, okay, for my viewers. So if you're interested, uh, the information is in the description box, all right? It is only for a limited time. All right, my dolls. I hope everyone's doing well. Sending you lots of love, blessings, healing, abundance. So the first question I ask is, how are they feeling about you? The second question is, what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Third, if they could write a love letter, what would it say? I'm sorry, guys. I'm being a little extra, right? <laughs> Leonore, you're not in glee, all right? This is just a tarot card reading. All right, I don't sing, guys. I don't know why I'm being silly. Number four, are they in another relationship? <laughs> Leonore, you're not in a game show. All right. Um, and how would they feel if you and them were together? Now, the last question I just asked if um, the, the fourth question was already answered, okay? So the fourth question, again, is are they in another relationship? If that question was already answered, I'll ask how would they feel if you and them were together? All right. Let's get started. Number one, how are they feeling about you? All right, so um, I do invite my cross watch watchers. I do invite my cross watchers um, in these Q and A love reads. Okay, um, but just bear with me, guys, because I like to read the energy. I don't really show the cards um, most of the time because um, for the time, for the uh, for the sake of time. So how are they feeling about you? Uh, well, somebody doesn't want to budge. Uh, they're being very stubborn. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to budge. They're being passive aggressive, big time. Um, there's a little stalking going on here. But somebody's moved on. And they're, I mean, it's not like somebody's hiding the fact that they moved on. I, uh, the person that did move on was heartbroken, you know, and, and they're, you know, they had to move on because something happened, obviously, in the past. I sensed third party, big time. So um, that's it, you know, they cried, broken heart, broken relationship, and got the fuck over it. Okay, so why are you coming back? Okay, we don't need your back. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, cross watchers. <sighs> I'm not talking about myself. Um, yeah, you know, it's like they want to come back. They're not budging. Has if, you know? Whatever. Um, you get the point. What, how are they feeling about you? They're being stubborn, you know? It's like, it's a turnaround, you know? The relationship is over and, and they think that, um, they honestly think that you, you'll break. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, give them a little space. They'll get over it. I, I mean, I don't know who I'm offending, but people fucking think that way. Sorry, I'm cursing Pisces. <sighs> I apologize. I just watched a movie that had a lot of cursing. Second question, how, what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? All 
All right, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, I mean, this person doesn't want to move on. Jeez, Louise. All right. Um. Yeah, this person's going to take action. You really moved on. Listen, this is the Empress, okay? The Empress got shit to do, okay? Emperor, Empress. It doesn't matter. Guys, if you see like a depiction of a man or a woman, I'm not talking to a specific gender, okay? It's just energy in tarot. I got my Queen of Wands. I have Aries. I don't know if people are dealing with Aries here um, or Saggy. It doesn't have to mean anything. I also have Cancer or any fire sign. Um, these two cards were in the reverse, okay? I mean, these are two, uh, this is a major, the Empress, you know? Um, you know, and uh, the Empress likes to take care of things, you know? A creator. As well as um, the Queen of Wands, you know? A creator. Um, they're both very loving women, men, you know, they are, they, they, they're do or die. And so, um, you know, they decided to, you know, not have, you know what, I, I sense that somebody wanted to, um, take it further, do you know what I mean? And, um, someone was like, nah, I just want to play around, you know, just, you know, let's be lighthearted about it. And someone was like, what are you talking about? You know? And, and, and obviously from what the first question, from the question, uh, from the answer, sorry, from the answer that I got from the first question, it was because they wanted to roam the earth. And I don't mean like a, like a nomad. And more like, you know, the grass, the grass may be green on the other side. If it isn't, it isn't. I'm, I'm still in the green grass. Here I got the tower. Um, you know, you've accepted. I don't know who I'm talking to. Cross watchers, Pisces. You've accepted. You moved on. This person really hasn't. I'm gonna uh, listen. I got the judgment card here in the reverse. I got the chariot also in the reverse. I mean, it's time to move on. In the reverse, they're not trying to. All right, moving on. If they can write a love letter. Sorry, I know I'm being obnoxious, but whatever. If they could write a love letter, what would it say? All right, so with, the, with these letters, um, I do like to make them in love letter formats, um, folks. So you have to just, you know, be a little patient. Um, I got to read the energy, see what the hell they got to say. All right, darlings. All right, so let's start. Let me just see what's going on. Um, mm, mm. Hmm. Um, wow, this is heavy. It's like literally, I just have major arcana after major arcana. This is a little tricky, Pisces. Hold on, because I'm always getting tri tricky energy with you, okay? Always. <laughs> you never fail me. It's okay. Jesus. Okay, let, let, me, let me just get into this energy. Ready? <sighs> to whom it may concern, you decided to break down a foundation that I really wanted with you. You cut me off as if I did something wrong to you. And all I wanted to do was treat you like the person you are. Amazing. A healer. But I guess your beauty took the best of you. Your wisdom took the best of you. Your confidence took the best of you. And so here you are today, ignoring me. I don't know, maybe it was time for us to break up. I thought about that a couple of times anyway. You're being immature, but I wish, I wish you the best of luck. Your vision obviously wasn't the same as, um, obviously wasn't the same as mine. I did want it to expand with you. I thought about this several times. I even wanted to have 
a family with you. Slowly but surely, I was really getting the courage to do, to make a commitment for I know that I have anger issues. I may have some abandonment issues, maybe even codependency. But I'm sure that's not why you confronted me about leaving. You forced yourself just you for, you forced yourself to leave and take action and be selfish and think of yourself. But I see you're doing better than me. I wish you the best of luck in anything you do in life. I guess you deserve it. But I know that you're lying to me somewhere, somehow. I'll come back to you. I know that you'll take me back and I'll be waiting for you. I have some words to say to you anyway. All right, that's that's the end. Um, I hope I sounded clear. Um, if not, just rewind it. I feel like I just had low, like a low tone there, but I mean, I have a good mic. All right, um, the balls of this person, right? Or the Ray JJ, <laughs> the Ray JJ out of this person. Um, the goals, I should say, the goals. Um, what do you call that? The audacity, Leonora. Shit, don't you not, not know your vocabulary? Yes, the audacity of this person. I mean, I'm, I'm reading the letter and um, I don't know. Ain't, ain't, ain't that a bitch? You know, you mess around behind somebody back and you're mad at them because <sighs> they moved on. Do you know what I mean? I mean, that's the energy I'm getting from, from your reading, Pisces, or Crosswatcher, okay? Anyway, whatever. <sighs> Let's move on to the last question. Are they in another relationship? All right, let's see what's going on with their, with their love life, current love life. <sighs> Since they wanna talk shit. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm so passionate with your reading. I usually don't have opinions. <laughs> My word. All right. Uh, I mean, I do have a Pisces rising. I, <laughs> is this my life? All right. Um, let's see. All right. So are they in another relationship? Um, you know, they are working towards their career. Um, you know, they're, they, you know what? They, they really do realize that they need help. Um, they need some healing, if I should say that. They, they, <sighs> They know that they're codependent. They know that um, they have abandonment issues. Isn't that amazing? Some people usually deny that, but um, for some reason, this person knows that. Um, I don't think they explain this to you, though. I think, you know what? Um, um, to be fair, um, this person might have done this to you because you deserved better. Now, they're just upset that you moved on faster than they, than they wanted you to, you know? And 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 I, I don't know, I just picked that up just now. Um, you know, I got the tower here two times, you know? I got one tower here. Oh, no, she's not the tower. She, yeah, she is, she's the tower. And this is also the tower. Um, you know, you, you really accepted it. it. You know, the tower's falling, whatever. Move on with your life. But with them, you know, and, and, and just one more thing before I move on to the last question once and for all. This is how they really thought of you. They really did. I mean, they was taking their sweet ass time. But I, I you know... <sighs> I really think that they needed to work on themselves, you know? And I don't know if you see, like, you know, like their heads are really touching each other. Like, it's almost like, um, I'm, I'm not surprised if I'm talking to people that um, have some type of telepathic um, com communication, um, or you see each other um, in each other's dreams. 
Um, you guys have a past um, relationship. Um, but you know how, you know, you see how she's pregnant. I mean, it takes nine months to give birth to a baby, right? And, and it's just that this person is upset that you didn't wait for them. Um, it's like they know why, but they can't admit it. You know, I, I, this, uh, whatever. Okay. Are they in another relationship? Um, they're not. They're still, they're still grieving over you. Not all the time. I'm not going to say they're grieving. <sighs> I mean, sometimes this is them. Sometimes this is them. Sometimes they look at their past and this is them. You know? Um, but, you know, otherwise, um, you know, like I said, you know, they have the audacity to think that you guys are going to get back together. Like they just want to just resurrect the relationship. Um, they really enjoy your company. Um, and they're working on, on their coins. It's just that, I, again, <laughs> to be fair, and listen, I, I'm not sticking up for anybody. I'm, I'm not on nobody's side. Um, from what I gather from the reading, it's just that this person wasn't ready to commit. And um, I don't know if this person strung you along. You know, people do that because they don't want to lose a relationship. Um, but, you know, I mean, we're talking about, like I said, the Empress and the Queen of Wands. You know, the King of Wands and the Emperor, it doesn't matter what gender. It's just, are you serious? These bitches don't fucking stay around. Heal, heal your problem, okay? All right? And maybe, maybe you and I could talk about, you know, moving on and expanding. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Pisces. That was a little vulgar in your reading. I apologize once again. Um, anyway, if you need a private reading, please email me. My email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.